Chief Legal Correspondent Seema Iyer joins us now. All right, Seema, we're hearing a lot about this election defense fund, and the big headline yes. today was it wasn't just the big lie, it was the big ripoff. So when we talk about this election defense fund, I can only imagine people who contributed to this fund listening to the testimony that we heard today. Was that enough to make them feel like they were defrauded? It was a tease, a tease ahead to the hearing that I think is supposed to be devoted solely to the finances, mm. that finances in that campaign fund yeah. were misdirected for Trump to go forward with his proposition that there was, in fact, election fraud. But to be clear, it's not enough in the sense to prosecute. Just allegations of fraud or even witnesses to a fraud is not enough. We want to see documents. We want bank records. And hopefully we want live witnesses. But even if we didn't get live witnesses to come in to this committee and testify that they were defrauded. The idea here is that we'll get enough evidence going forward that the Department of Justice will have those names and speak to those people and find out who was defrauded. You're talking about witnesses, though, as uh, we did have witnesses today. Yes. All of them were former Team Trump appointees or employees talking about the what Trump was doing or what he didn't do, but also how powerful is that uh, moving forward against uh, Donald Trump? And it, it, you always talk oh, about premeditation or yes. intent. How powerful okay, is that well, against him? Okay, well, there's a few him? things. So there were five witnesses, including Bill Stepien. We got a lot of his deposition. He wasn't mm -hmm. there in person. Uh, all conservatives, all Republicans. Now, it is... Uh, Strategically, the optics are super strong because this is the this is the first big chunky hearing that we're getting. Everybody's a conservative. Number one. Number two is you had Ben Ginsburg, who is one of the country's foremost, if not the foremost, election law expert, mm. a conservative who, and you probably all remember this, that during that after the election, during the initial controversy, he was on all the networks, basically saying there was no fraud. Nobody stole the election from him. So I thought that was also equally powerful. And also, the other issue is that all of these witnesses were able to testify about what they heard, what they saw, what they did without emotion. No axes to grind, no ill will towards Donald Trump or anybody else. So that was even perhaps the most strongest part of the day mm -hmm. is that the politics were just void but for the panel members.